What's up YouTube? Mimi here coming at you from my channel Bunny Birdie Gator. So today we're going to do a Daiso pen review. The majority of these are going to be gel pens but I was really motivated to do this video because I fell in love with these gel pens and these are called Basic Productions B-A-Z-I-C and I got these back in August for my BFF. She got them at Daiso for $1.50. These are the fruit scented glitter gel pens and I really really like these and I pretty much use them all up except for the yellow. If you guys can see here I use them all up. That's the lid that you're seeing not the ink, the ink level. But yeah, I really, really like these. I didn't color with them much. I mostly use them for writing in my homeschool planner. But I really wanted to show you guys some others. So I got this set here. And um, these are actually highlighters, but they're scented. So I wanted to try them out. This set of gel pens. And then this set right here, this is a six pack with two blacks. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and we're just gonna look down at a sheet of paper, you know, kind of traditional style. And we'll see how we like these. I mean, I am so in love with gel pens. Not all of them are good, but they're, I don't know what it is about it. Like, it's just my favorite style of pen to write with, to doodle with, to color with. I just love them. so. I'm always willing to try new pens. All right, so let's go ahead and get to my pen review. This is the book that I'm gonna be testing the gel pens out in, or coloring. This is kind of a testing slash coloring with me. I'm gonna say it's more of a testing because it's more product-based, but I'm gonna be using this cute book called Galentine's Day by Eva Marie Taylor. And the page I want to use is this cute one that says, Let's Be Mermaids. Now, these are hand-drawn cards. It says, To tear, color, and share with your favorite ladies just in time for Valentine's Day. But you know what? A lot of these are just cute girl power, cutesy, like, adorable things. Like, Sisters Before Misters, Ladies Celebrating Ladies, I Love You More Than Breakfast Food. So this is not really... Valentine's Day based, but it's it's just really cute. I like you a latte. I just want to hug you. Now these are loose because I've taken some of them out, but these are really, really nice quality cards. Okay, so this is the one that I want to try for today. Again, let's be mermaids. And I have some cute mermaid scale paper in the background from DCWV from the Coastal Stack. Okay, so the first one, now again, I told you guys I really loved this set. This is what made me wanna try more Daiso pens. But that set's about out now. So let's try this set here. It says D Stationery. Let's go ahead and try out some of these colors. Let's go ahead and try the green out first. Hmm. Oh, I like it already, you guys. It's coming out very smoothly. It's really bright. Oops, I already went out of the line, you guys. Kind of standing up, standing behind my camera. Not an ideal position for coloring. Really pretty. It's a little bit scratchy on the paper, you guys. The nib is scratching the surface a little bit. But I feel like the gel is coming out, you know, the gel ink is coming out really smoothly, even though the nib is kind of scratchy. I'm liking these. I hate it when I mess up, you guys. They go out of the lines and it's like, uh. -huh. Try not to have the attitude of the whole thing is ruined, but I am a perfectionist and stuff like that drives me crazy. Let's go ahead and try out the yellow. Hmm, it's kind of a neon. I'm really pleased with this set. This is the six color neon gel pens D stationary 
And again, as you guys know, Daiso is a Japanese dollar store. Everything is $1.50. Let's just stay zoomed in for a little bit, you guys. I want you to be able to see everything really well as I go. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the neon pink. Wow, that's bright. I really love this color pink. I don't think I'm gonna try every color in every set, you guys. So my kids are outside having fun while I film. I like that pink. These are the fluorescent pens. I just want to smell them more than anything, you guys, because I don't know if I want to use highlighter on this. So this one is a banana. It smells very banana-ish. And then we have grape. Oh yeah, I love the grape. The grape smells so good. I have to be careful, you guys. And I know you guys know this, but whenever you're using gel pens, you really have to be careful not to smudge it or smear it. What I like to do is work in a certain section that I might skip over and work in another section or come up here and work up here because for me, if it's smudged or smeared, it's very hard to correct, especially especially if you want to stick with using gel pens. Look at this one, you guys. This is the strawberry. Mm, kind of strawberry-ish, kind of just fruity. Strawberry. And then we have green. This is, I think, lime. It smells like melon. It smells like cantaloupe. This is like a cantaloupe scent. And then we have orange. Let's smell it. And orange to me doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't smell like orange at all. It just kind of has a weird marker smell to it. Next, let's go ahead and try these. These are the Gel Ink Ballpoint Pen, 0.38 millimeter. This is the Kaneta Gel Pens, and it has the little diamonds on the cap. This was a little confusing to me, you guys, because this is black. I think this is red. This is pink, and this is blue. And I really like the texture of these, but I have to say, I've never seen um, a red inked gel pen in a white pen. So just know that when you're coloring, if you throw away the package, maybe put a note on there because imagine going for a white to blend or mix some of your gel pens and laying down a red. I mean, that would pretty much <laughs> and possibly destroy your color scheme if you were thinking you're using white and you really ended up using red. So I have to keep that in mind. Let's see what blue is like. Let's do a couple mermaid scales. Oh, wow. This is very, very fine tipped. Can you guys see that? Look at that. Very, 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 very fine tipped. This might be good for some of the bubbles. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is so fine tipped. This is very just ideal for these small little spaces and places like bubbles. Hmm, I really like it. I'm so impressed with these pens so far, you guys. Oh wow. Yes. I really like these. I mean, I can't believe how fine tipped they are. I'm trying to concentrate because these bubbles are so, so tiny. Okay, good. And this area is dry now. As I just had my hand on it, I was like, oh no, I hope it's dry enough. 
let's see what we could do hmm, with the red. Maybe, oh, it looks like I forgot to do the little part there with the coral. Let's try a little red. There we go. Okay, so it was a little burgundy at first, but as it comes out, it's a little more bright red. I don't think I have anything that's quite this fine tipped. Yeah, so I'm gonna come back to this. I'm really wanting to take my time with these because just a little bit of ink comes out at a time, which is nice. Sometimes you have gel pens and the ink just really flows out fast. I'm really loving the texture of these and I like the little gripper here. It's kind of slippery, but I still kind of like how it feels. Let's try a little pink. Let's see, you guys, where should we do pink? Let's do a little pink over here. Not quite neon, but it's nice. These always kind of come out in one shade and then as you color, you're getting the true representation of the color that it is. Okay, so there we go, a little zoomed in shot of some of these colors. So I really like these, you guys. Wow, so fine tipped, nice looking pen and the ink really flows out of them nicely. Let's take a look at these, and these are 0.5 millimeter, and these are the Twinkle Gel Ink Ballpoint Pen, and look you guys, I did not notice this. Look at the little rhinestone caps. That's so cute, so adorable. These are even cuter out of the package. I love that. Okay, let's see, what should we try first? Let's do another green. So here's how they look, look at that. Wow, fancy, fancy, look at that. And again, a very, very fine tip, a very fine nib on this pen. Let's go ahead and do a few more leaves. Once again, you guys, I'm really impressed with these. Very impressed. You guys know I have a lot of coloring books in my collection and I really did need a fine pointed pen. I do have some in my collection, but these ones, wow. I mean, these can go in very small places. So. That's a nice green, it's really dark. Let's try out another blue. I'm gonna come up and do a couple more bubbles. Hmm, let's go ahead and do a little bit more. I'm so pleased, you guys, with these pens. So pleased. They're so cute. They work so well. Let's try out another pink. I feel like doing something a little different. Oh, it's nice and bright. My kids are coming in from sledding now. It's probably about to get kind of noisy. Pretty, pretty pink. Pretty, pretty pen. Wow. I'm filming, babe. How was sledding? Good. Uh, we found, we went down Thistle Hill. You went uh, down Thistle Hill? We, we have, okay, right one here? Mm-hmm. We always went to the top of Tissot Hill. We went to the top of Tissot Hill. We went down Say the Best Steel. I'm in front, but Say Steel's in the back. Really? Say the Best Steel. The first time I saw it, I was cracked, but we didn't say to 
Well, that's a pretty steep hill. Mama, we... we... You want to say hi to my subscribers? They can hear you. Hey, guys. <laughs> Mama, bunny, bunny, gator. I'm a gator. That's right. You are a gator. Yeah, I yeah. am. Yeah. Well, if you guys want to see my gator, check out my last Color With Me Kids Edition. Yeah. He was in that. He was coloring a cool... 3D blow up shade. Yeah, a 3D um, blow up. It's called 3D Colorables and it's a blow up mask. And kids can color them and then they can wear them. Yeah, he had a lot of fun doing that. Well, what do you guys think about this pink? Oh, I think it's gorgeous. I really like that. Yeah, Gator's really been into coloring lately. He's filled up his coloring book. I, I, I almost filled up my two hundred coloring books. Yeah, you did. Almost. I never had a moment to talk to your followers. Your followers. You haven't had a moment to talk to my followers before? You guys want to hear Gator sometime? His take on things or hear him talk about things? He always has a lot to say. Don't you, Gator? Yeah, but I never, but I lost my, um, I all of my, um, my, Your gel crayons? Yeah, my gel crayons. Yeah, he finished up two packs of gel crayons, gel crayons from Setco Inc. And, um, one, um, Bunny Boy Gator, but it wasn't a gator. Yeah, your, bu the Bunny Birdie. Uh, uh, Bunny Birdie B. Bunny Birdie B gel crayons. Let me finish this, baby, because I'm about to. Bye, gonna... guys. <laughs> Bye, Gator. So we tested out this set. Love these. These are the ones I was just coloring with. We also tested out this set. These are the ones with the diamonds. Great set as well. These ones, very nice. If you guys ever see these, grab them. These have a regular nib. They write normal. It's not extra fine or anything. But these are so, so great. Um, love these. And then we tested out the aromatic fluorescent pens, the highlighters. All of them had a scent, but just not orange. Well, hey, you guys, I just wanted to do a quick little outro and goodbye. How did you guys like the pens? What did you think? Are there any that you're going to be running out and getting from your Daiso? Well, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, please feel free to let me know. Hit the thumbs up button. Share with me down in the comments some of your favorite gel pens, Daiso or other brands. And if you guys haven't yet, please go ahead and hit that little button to subscribe. Well, all right, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.